we've got Mary Jo Eustace here. <laughs> folks love you we're so happy to have you back LA has obviously been good to you it's been very good to me but I'm back in Toronto for a year or so for some work endeavors so I'm really excited to be back in Canada yay Canada yay Jay yay, yay! 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 Amazing season, amazing postseason. Amazing. Now, some people will think, okay, gluten free, wheat free, that's what you're doing now. Yes. Um, and then they think, oh, I don't know, does that taste good? Does it have flavor? There's bacon in there. It's I'm just bacon. telling everyone. That's why my father at 80 is alive. He eats bacon every day. Oh, of course it yeah, is. Yeah, he does. No, but gluten can be actually really, really delicious. And truthfully, if it was hard, I wouldn't do it. Right. That's my m mantra. If I can do it, anybody can do it. So it's easy, easy cooking. Easy, easy cooking. Yeah. Easy, easy. And as you know, I wrote this book for my daughter. My daughter was actually diagnosed with autoimmune. She got alopecia. So this is the book here, Scared yes. Wheatless. Scared Wheatless. Yes. Yeah. So she had alopecia at a very young age. That's when you, you start to lose your hair. Yeah. Um, and that's a scary thing for a mom. So you cleaned up her diet. It's a very scary thing. She lost 70% of her hair and I had a total nervous breakdown. I thought I'm going to do something. So I wrote a book called Scared Wheatless and it's a love letter to my daughter. Parents out there know, I mean your kids, forget They're about everything. it. So this everything. is a really cool recipe. I think your husband's going to cook this for you. Yes, okay? she knows already. Husband, she doesn't cook, and <laughs> her husband sounds me. heavenly. Yeah, he's Seriously. a good one. I'm going to take the recipe home to him tonight. So what are we going to cook first? If you have a good husband, hang on to him. That's all I can say. <laughs> um, what we're going to do is we're doing walnut tacos, and they're absolutely delicious, uh, instead of crying. Um, and what you do is you soak your nuts for a couple of hours. You get all the toxins out, and okay. then you put this in a food processor mm. with some coriander, some taco mix that I give you in the book. Okay. And you saute it up, and it's got the most delicious nutty flavor, and it's a great replacement to beef uh -huh. and meat. My kids love this, and you can also put it on greens. So we've got the sautéed walnuts. Yeah. It takes you like 20 minutes to make, and it's a walnut taco. That's Isn't that a great amazing. idea? Uh, you know, a lot of your recipes are based on nuts, which is great as long as you don't have a nut allergy. Right. You're still getting that protein in there. You're getting all of those amazing nutrients, yep. and uh, you can replace the meat if you want. Absolutely, which is great. and it's absolutely delicious, and and just really really healthy. And then yeah. we've got some good fixings here. So oh my gosh, this we is good have some stuff. roasted corn that I roasted at 4:30 this morning for you people. Thank you. You're welcome. We love you. There's some lettuce, uh -huh. um, some tomatoes, some tomatoes, and this Very is nice. avocado foam, just avocado sour cream and a little paprika. Isn't that nice? So you put on the toppings that you or your kids like. I'm assuming these uh, shells are gluten-free. Yeah, they're, they're gluten-free corn-based, which is great. Yeah. You can get all this stuff at your local supermarket, so it's fantastic. There's Very your nice. dinner, darling. I That's love for it. That's you. Thank you. Simple, simple recipes, because truthfully, if you're going gluten-free, I mean, the first thing you want to do is kill yourself because you think it's so hard, <laughs> but this is actually really, really simple. It's easy. It it's doesn't have to be complicated. There's no crazy, like, 17 billion steps. You don't grind steps. nuts for eight hours. Right. There's not 9,000 ingredients in the recipes. It's mm -hmm. It's really easy. Now this is sort of a tribute to my father who hates my cooking, but I kind of did this for him. Um, it's a, it's a pasta dish, and you can have pasta if you're gluten free. There's great brands. You can get uh, Barilla makes a great brand. Uh, there's rice pasta, quinoa pasta, so whatever right. tickles your fancy, you can get. Yeah, go for something good. that you can actually eat, but don't feel like you are depriving yourself. That's because the whole key. Because they've got so many products out there that are good for you. If so you, you, you test them and see what you like. But does yeah. this not look good? I mean, it's pear and it's bacon. Oh, What's it's not pear. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I wasn't it's a little sure. Pear. That's a good combo. Isn't that a great combo? Yeah, I like that. So what we've got is we've got some arugula mm -hmm. and some watercress, and we toss that in nice. to our pan just to wilt the greens a little bit. Yeah. We've got some delicious gluten-free pasta. Now, do you cook the gluten-free pasta any differently uh, than you would the regular? There's different directions for it. The rice and the quinoa is a little tougher, but yeah. um, the brilla I find is, is really excellent. So okay. you just read the instructions and you're going to do it by trial and error. Right. Okay, look at that Because you've got to get the consistency that you like. You've got to get a little bit different with our pasta. Like life. Like life. Don't you find? Right? Now look at this, blue cheese. I mm. mean, come on. So we're going to do a little blue cheese. You know what's good? You're still decadent, even though we're being gluten-free. Because a little blue cheese goes a long way. A little baked Bacon goes a long way. These are all big flavors. Yes. It's going to bump up your 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 meal. Or a lot of bacon goes a long or way. Or a lot I like of bacon. Say. Okay. Whatever. And I'm going to put some walnuts on yeah. top, and then we've got some dried cranberries. 
Oh, very Does nice. Does this all look delicious? That looks amazing. That's pretty good, right? That's a good whole meal. Isn't that wonderful? Your kids are going to eat it because it's pasta. Yes. My kids eat anything yellow. Yeah. Um, you know, or maybe you're going to take out the cheese for them if they don't you like don't the strongest. You don't have to put the, but that blue cheese in. You can yeah. put a little Parmesan. You can do whatever you like. Now, have you heard about quinoa? She's my new girlfriend. I feel like I've heard of quinoa heard before. Once or twice about quinoa. quinoa? <laughs> maybe a few billion times. Okay, yes, quinoa, quinoa is mm -hmm. really the it girl of the moment. So um, what I've done is this is a quinoa green onion frittata. Oh. Your husband should make you this too. And okay. what you do, I'm putting a lot of pressure on your husband. No, now, it's okay. Sorry. Okay, he, yeah, it's he fine. deserves it. He doesn't mind. Okay, good. Um, <laughs> So this is green onion. You saute this in a little olive oil. Then okay. you mix up some eggs with yeah. some salt and pepper. I put arugula in this, and then you put about a cup of quinoa in it. Nice. So it acts as sort of a quiche. So you get like that yes. nice substantial um, that flavor. That consistency. Right, absolutely. And then we put a little goat cheese on it as oh, well. Yes, girl. And then you serve it up with an arugula salad. Okay, so I mean, that, is that easy? That is very easy. What? It's a frittata. Yes, it's so a frittata. So frittatas, I find, are the great thing about them is they are breakfast, lunch, or dinner. Right. So right. if you want to switch up your your meal, you know, have it any time of day, it keeps pretty well and is super easy to to make. I actually make frittatas. Okay. I make frittatas. I believe Mary you. Jo. Don't yell at me. I believe I you. I make them. She's yelling at me. It's one of my two recipes. Okay, good. After the show, we're actually going to be drawing for copies of Mary Jo's cookbook, Scam. Yay! Look at you, honey. Isn't that good? Oh, my God. And if you want to, if you want to order the it. book or get any information on my sordid life, yeah. go to MaryJo.tv. There's books. There's all sorts of cool things. I'd love if you'd drop by and visit. Yeah, well, you know what? Let's link, uh, let's link them to your website through our website. Oh, we'll perfect. give them all that information. Great. I would like details on your sordid life. I like okay. that stuff. Okay, well, let's, during let's the break. Let's dish during the commercial okay, break. Okay, sounds good. Now, I don't know about you, but do you like to cook with um, a little bit of music and maybe a glass of wine? I don't or, know. Or two. Yes, or I do. Or five. Yeah. Yes, I do. Well, we know that good tunes make cooking even more fun. So head on over to the City Line DJ booth. We've got a Spotify playlist for oh, cooking. Oh, good, good, yes. good. So you can get that. It's from DJ Lissa Monet, um, and she always has the great tunes playing. So do that, and let's go to break. More coming up. Thank you.